welcome guys to a brand new video on solo leveling arise now i'm pretty sure you guys know the new meta that everyone is using right now which is using the new uh the new artifacts to literally upgrade the cp or increase the team power um however there is a massive massive downside which has affected me and lots of people we are actually dealing way less damage even though we have higher team power which makes complete sense because our main goal right now is to increase our cp so we technically have to use pieces that are not great because right now we can't we haven't farmed a lot of the new workshop of brilliant light so technically our pieces are garbage there might be a couple of people that have gotten lucky but majority of players have garbage garbage pieces but a lot of you guys guys are still leveling it up because you want to increase your cp i've seen free to play players yes even free to play players get all the way to 400 team power that is absolutely crazy even better than me because i got very very unlucky with drops for the new pieces so i'm still stuck on uh, you know 380 80k so that's my total team power before i carry on with the video guys don't forget to like and subscribe stay tuned for more content on solo leveling arise there will be a link in the comment section which will take you guys to the official netmarble content creator program where you guys can go ahead and support the channel codes will be in the description sorry in the comment section of this video there will be 10 codes 10 codes and if you guys wants to get yourself a guaranteed code because those codes in the comment section are all one use only if someone else has used those codes unfortunately it will not work for you and if you have used a previous code that gave you 1k essence turns from other content creator or from including myself this codes will not work for you so don't tell me down in the comment section that the codes don't work because it clearly shows you didn't listen but if you guys want to get yourself a guaranteed code let's say you came to the video very late and you missed the codes because it's not working for you guys what you need to do is press the link support the channel reach out to me on discord discord information in the description of this video you can reach out to me show me proof and i will send you guys the codes i have done it to multiple people and i absolutely love doing this so all the people that have reached out to me you guys are absolutely amazing to so everyone supporting me i flip in respect and enjoy you guys you know messaging me on discord literally so yeah keep it up uh reach out to me on discord if you want the codes but again you have to support the channel for all of that stuff but if you do not want to support us that way then fine you can go ahead and click the like button subscribe to the channel and hopefully this video gets all the way to 50 likes so carry on with the video let's talk about what the tricks people are using which is pretty much a very simple tactic jump all your characters with the new sets and hopefully uh your cp well your, your cp will definitely increase but your, your your actual damage will decrease by a few amounts and your stats will probably be kind of garbage so i've actually noticed that with my song jin Wu. he yeah he ain't dealing that good amount of damage anymore like compared to the proper set that i had before with the toughness set and the uh the expert set unfortunately right now he's dealing way less damage because the stats i have on each of the pieces are absolutely absolutely garbage and in the future guys i'm not sure if you guys know this but we are getting a new instance dungeon and encore mission so that is going to be actually a level 78 um artifact drop for the toughness set the destroyer set so all the other like artifacts that we've been using before they are currently at level 50 but of level yeah level 55 but the devs are going to give us new end commissions where we can get the higher level of those new artifact set so if you guys are patient actually if you guys can wait because this is going to be happening in july so in july we are going to be getting a new end commissions a new instance dungeon so if you guys can patiently wait if you guys don't want to just keep quickly boost up your team's total power just for the sake of doing it or just to clear other content where you have uh, a red C, um, red team team power and now you're just increasing your team's power so that you can just beat the stage and not be in a debuff state that is completely fine but the amount of resources you guys are going to spend on pieces that are not even that good is going to set you back a bit especially again like i said the end commission the instance dungeon is going to happen in july in a couple of like days or weeks so that is going to be happening you don't really need to rush to get this new pieces but if you want to that is totally fine i still think running like the toughness set the 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 artifacts that we, we had previously is a lot easier to farm because it's end core missions it's instant dungeon it resets every single day and when we have the new bosses it's going to be pretty easy to farm those compared to the to the ones in the workshop of brilliant light which is going to take us weeks 
weeks before we can actually get good pieces on that so i even think the moment they release that new end core missions and instance dungeon a lot of us are literally going to switch our gears back into the standard ones we've been using it's just going to be a higher level so technically you just wasted a lot of your artifact enhancement chips but again i've seen a lot of people still say it's a good idea to you know quickly boost up your total power which makes sense again i'm doing it but i just realized that i probably should just wait until we get the new end commissions and instance dungeons so let me know down in the comment section if you agree with my takes um again we it isn't fully 100 confirmed that the new instance dungeon and end commissions that we are going to be getting is for a level 78 gear of the previous sets we've been farming but more than likely that is exactly what's going to be uh, it, it makes sense it absolutely makes sense it doesn't mean the workshop of brilliant light is useless it just means that you have like you don't really need to start using the, the new sets from the workshop of brilliant light and if you guys are even finding workshop of brilliant light difficult which i still think a lot of you guys are especially like with a normal one they are going to release the hard mode and very hard in the near future as well so hey you are going to need a pretty good gear for that so when it released the new end core mission the new instance dungeon you can find that it'll be way easier not way easier sorry it'll be more cons you can consistently farm that compared to the workshop of Bruni and light you can get the level 78 pieces the legendary ones for the toughness set and you can build the characters with that and therefore you can start challenging the workshop of brilliant light but in terms of which set is better i haven't actually taken a deep look into the new sets we have with the curse set the blessing set and the greed set so i do need to actually pay attention to those sets to see how good it is and how like insane it will increase our team's damage in general but i can say it's definitely going to be something that not everyone is going to build in the future because again it's going to be way easier to get better gears for the toughness that the end the 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 previous sets we've been farming when the new end commissions and instance dungeon comes out so i do think a lot of us are just going to revert back to the to the the previous um artifact sets just higher level so again it's not necessary for you guys to do what everyone is doing with just trying to bump up their CP because your damage is definitely going to go down. If you're building sets with terrible substats just so you can increase your CP, it's not going to help you guys in the long run. But in the short run, of course, you get that boost in your CP. You can clear stage. You can try and clear stages with uh, with the recommended CP being that high. Um, so yeah, try that, see how it works. But you might have to keep switching your 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 artifacts which again if your artifacts are plus 20 it is going to cost you gold to switch out your sets but if it's plus 15 there is no gold cost so you can actually just keep switching to the sets you want it's going to be tedious but that's something you guys can do because of course i still think many people have better sub stats better stats with the previous sets they have even though it's level 55 they could deal more damage or they do deal more damage with those sets so you could just keep switching out your sets for what you want and again in the future that's definitely going to be something that everyone wants to do because uh in like Song Jin Wu, when we use Song Jin Wu, we want the expert accessories because we know Song Jin Wu is going to be on field for a very, very long time. But if it's for a short match, you pretty much don't need the end, um, the the expert sets. But so far, we haven't really gotten a stage where Song Jin Wu isn't in the match for too long. But um, yeah, let me know down in the comment section what you guys think about my take. I don't necessarily say it's, I wouldn't say it's a bad thing to just bump up your CP right now with the new sets, but you definitely are going to be losing in actual damage. So just pay attention to the amount of damage you're doing right now compared to what you were doing before. Of course, your CP or your team power might look insanely high right now, but it will come at a cost. Um, but if you did get lucky with actually good pieces, then damn, you you were lucky. You were the lucky one. So that's actually mad. Um, unfortunately for me, absolutely unlucky. Oh, yeah, we still have that uh, salvage um, event where we can salvage our artifacts that have been enhanced. But it's still kind of garbage. I'm not going to lie. The cost is too high. So hopefully the devs can actually, you know, reduce the exchange, uh, exchange materials needed to get some of the items in a shop. Um, and I know a lot of you guys right now are running the epic versions of the new sets. But again, when I oh, hopefully actually, hopefully the end core missions we get and the instance dungeon isn't too difficult so we can start farming like the high high tier ones so we can get like the legendary drops or what or whatnot. So we have to wait and see. But um, July is going to be pretty interesting. It's going to be pretty interesting to see how people take it when we get the new 
new level for the previous artifacts we've been able to find so that's gonna be pretty interesting don't forget to like and subscribe stay tuned for more content on solo leveling arise again links in the comment section to support the channel hopefully you guys enjoy the codes that i keep releasing again if people are telling me down in the comment section the codes don't work again someone has either used it or you have used a code previously um that gave you the 1k essence stones um but yeah again reach out to me if you guys support the channel but you haven't gotten the codes it's been your boy ac gamer don't forget to like and subscribe and i'm out